Hi, my name is Arinja Jain and uh, I will be explaining to you on the various types of loans which are available to people in Indian markets. And when I say people, I'm talking about individuals. This video is brought to you by www.iadiobook.com. You can visit our personal life, finance and tax section for more of such videos. Now, in India, basically, whenever a person wants to go for a loan, there are various types which you can avail. Depending on your requirement, depending on your eligibility criteria, there are various loans which you can avail. Okay? So I'll take you briefly through each one of them at this slide, okay? And then we will be discussing each one of these separately in detail in the subsequent slides. Right? Typically, when an Indian person wants to go and take a loan, he has various options. It is not of late, you know, the loans were considered to be a sign of bad thing in India, but now I think that things have changed because they have increased the purchasing power of the individuals. So the first type of loan is a home loan. A home loan is basically available for the purchase of a house. Okay? So if you want to buy a house, you can go and take a home loan, right? There are various banks, not only various banks, actually almost all the banks, they have either their own NBFC arms, okay, or separate companies which provide loans. What happens in this kind of a loan is, you take the loan, buy the property, okay, and then this property is mortgaged with the bank till the time you repay it. We'll study more about it in some of the new videos which we'll be doing specifically for home loan. This happens to be one of the biggest portfolio of most of the banks in terms of total loans that they give. The second one is a car loan. Obviously, if you want to buy a car, you can also go and take a loan from a bank. Right? Various banks offer car loans depending again on your eligibility criteria. You can buy various cars. Right? The next one is loan against property. Right? So what happens in this case is, let's say suppose you have a property which you are the owner of. Right? And what you want is you require some funds which could be required for any use. You might want to buy another property. You might require it for personal purposes or any other stuff. In that case, you can mortgage your property to the bank and take a loan against the property. There are in certain cases, there are top-up loans also, which we will discuss when we are discussing the home loans bit. These are also loans against property in which you can take further loan in addition to the home loan that you have. Again, then there is a personal loan. In personal loan, normally, the loan is given based on your own credibility, right? Your own income. There is no security in case of personal loan in most of the cases. In some specific cases, the bank may ask some guarantee or something, but generally these personal loans are given on the basis of the credibility or the income of the borrower, and therefore they are highest interest bearing amongst all the loans that we are talking about. And the last one, and the most important actually, what I feel, is an education loan. So if you want to pursue some higher education, or even for graduation and all those stuff, you can go and take an education loan. Okay? Again, when you go and apply for an education loan, there are various factors considered by the bank, including the family income that you may have, your plans as to how do you propose to repay these loans and stuff. If you get through into an IIMs or maybe some other institutes, then the chances of getting these loans are very, very high. Depending on the credibility of the financial institution, or rather the educational institution, not the financial institution, the ease may differ from a case-to-case -case basis. Right? So with that now, we'll close this particular video, okay? This was just meant to give you a brief overview of the types of loans that you can take. We will discuss each one of them separately in the next videos. So this is video number one. 
on loans available in India to the borrower, the personal borrower. And this video is brought to you by www.iadiobook.com. We provide free education to students of school and all through our collection of 1,450 plus video lectures on science, maths, accounts and everything. Visit us today to know more. Thank you for your patience and look forward to seeing you in the further videos where we will be explaining to you about the loans.